Hello everyone, this is Raymond from Transform Your Dog and today I want to make a video on how to use the slip lead. I wanted to explain how the slip lead works and whether or not you should pick one for your family and your dog. Stay tuned. Alright, so today I want to discuss the slip lead. This is a slip lead. It's a cloth leash. I got this from a local pet store. I highly recommend trying Amazon or Chewy. Uh, local corporation companies tend to outsource their materials and they tend to fall apart. I've had my experience. This is the sixth time I've had to replace this leash from the same company. So, this part right here is supposed to stop the, the leash from getting too big. We don't want this too far up and we don't want this thing easily moved. If, you, if this easily moves, it's a bad product and I highly recommend getting a new one. Because the whole point of this is to stop this from getting too big. The big question is that everybody asks me is, is this going to slip off the dog? If it's too big, it will slip off the dog or the dog will step through it and you'll have yourself a problem. But if it's short, but just enough where there's no pressure on the dog's neck, it works out. That's what we want. Next is this. This is what stops it from getting too small. All right. We want, ideally we want the dog to feel it, but we don't want it enough where it's squeezing the dog's neck. So we want, again, this gets bigger, this gets smaller. That's what we want. Very simple, very easy. Should you get this for your dog? It depends on the situation and it depends on the personality. Uh, in my situation, in my, in my experience, I've learned that this type of leash, what does not work on very extremely impulsive or highly aggressive dogs, is it's helpful for quick lassoing the dog up and, and restricting the dog real quick, but it's not made for overall full usage training. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've learned in my experience that dogs that tend to be very hard head or easily distracted, impulsive, they tend to be tends not to work. So I want the leash right here, right behind his ears. Not down here. Don't want it down here because the, if the, if the leash rests on the shoulders like the like harness does, they're going to pull with their shoulders and they're going to pull real hard. So we want it up here. Have you ever seen a horse being led? He's not being led by harness, he's being led by his face. Good boy. So again, take the black strap, make it a little bigger, flip it off his head. Good boy. Come back. Step right back on his head, take a, take a seat. Good. Right on camera, come over here. Come over here, yes. So right there, that's it. You got the black strap here, you got the metal ring here. It's just the perfect size, his neck is not too big. Again, you don't want it down here. This is where the shoulder is, they're gonna pull with their shoulder. This is where most of the harnesses are. You don't want them to pull with their shoulder. If you ever seen a rancher pull a cow or a horse, he's not pulling them by the harness, he's pulling them by the head. So we got the black strap, the black ring, apply a little pressure. Thank you for watching guys, I really appreciate it. I hope you learned everything you need to know about the slip lead whether or not it is for you or your family. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, email me, or drop a DM. If you have any ideas for videos, let me know. If you want to tell us a story about your dog or what brands of dog training equipment and tools that you use, uh, just let us know and we can discuss. I really appreciate it. Thank you for liking and subscribing.